Hi and welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium. Today we're looking at these, these beautiful super-sized wafer flowers that you can make for Mother's Day or any other fantastic day. Um, they are using XL Marini pressed together to make these beautiful different flowers. And today I'm going to show you how to make these. So this project I'm using 96 glass. We've got some beautiful 96 XL and I wanted to use them um, for this project. So I've effectively um, taken different um, colored kind of leaves and drops in Excel and I'm gonna put them together on the kiln shelf like so. Now with these drops, they have a kind of angle on them so I do want them all facing the same way. Um, I'm gonna use this big green um, Marini. Now I'm not worrying about putting them on top of the drop, I'm just putting them next to because we're pressing it, it's all going to press together in um, in one uh, in one you know once a better word one blob of glass all together. So We've got, we could sell these mixed green leaves um, in 96, but if there's a particular colour you wanted, you could just say to us, oh, can you send me that colour? Um, well, I was going to use that one, but actually I think I do prefer the green with the orange. I think it's got a nice contrast. And then sometimes you get um, slightly different patterns on the leaves and you can just sort of mix and, and match. Um, so I'm going to do that one like that. So. Then we'll put a freshly washed kiln shelf on top of this and this will be pressed down and then we're going to make these little flower brooches that can go on cards for Mother's Day. Here are these um, out of the kiln and nicely pressed. We need to clean them up and then we can have a look at them. So here's one cut into and you can see I've just done five petals going to the middle of um, not the point of the star but between the star points so you can see how when you tack fuse it those sort of pull up more into petals um, which is also an interesting technique so we'll get these fired and we can have a look at them when they come out so here they are all in the kiln and i can't wait to see how they look when they come out i've only cut into one in the end um they're so gorgeous i'm just worried about breaking them if i cut into any more um so we will see so here are these 96 um, wafer flowers pressed. I am just so in love with this process. It's beautiful. I managed to make them. Then I smashed all but one of them. And then I've remade them. And I just love them even more. Look at that. That is just extraordinary. And then you've got that one. Which I did a new one, which was um, red poppy with black leaves, which, oh my God, look at that side, guys. These are really, really beautiful. Um, I've got so in love with the process that we made a load more in 90, just messing around. Um, really, so I'm loving this, but we're going to put them to one side. Now, you can put them in as a, and just fire polish them now, use them as they are. You could put them in, uh, you could slump them, fire polish them, and then slump them to give them some shape. Um, you can cut into them, so I'm going to cut into one of them. Just to show you, I'm like, which one? Because promise you cut them, if you break them, then they're gone, which is sad. But I'm going to cut into one to show you. And then they do need to go into a fire polish. These are wet. When they're dry, they look like this. And you need to fire polish them to bring up the shine and make them look all gorgy gorge. Um, so I'm just going to cut into a couple of them. I mean, you go for slightly less of a press with the leaves and you get that, which is also really pretty. Um, but I kind of also love the organic shape. That's one with... Um, 90 um, pink leaves and a green rose in the middle. Oh, just that one though. That one, oh, maybe that one, I don't know. So I'm going to um, just uh, cut into one of them to show you how it looks when it's sort of like cutting. So it's almost like making these into more petals. And then we're gonna put them in for a fire polish and see how they look at the end. So here these are out of the kiln. Um, they're really lovely. I just think that they work so well and are so beautiful. Um, I'm like, I'm sort of, because they're so, like, that one is like wafer thin. Um, and it would be quite big as a brooch. I don't know, brooch? Or they also, you could put um, a magnet on the back and they could be fridge magnets. So 
that's your options. I think we will have a think. Um, the heavy ones are, are less good for fridge magnets, and also they're sturdier for you know for a nice brooch. Um, but you know, jewelry, whatever, they're just great these. So you can kind of make a decision. But we're going to glue things on the back um, of them, and then we'll put them in cards and write a nice kind of Mother's Day I um, Mother's Day. Uh, sentiment on the card and we can have a look when they're done. So here they are attached to their cards. We've just glued the pin to the back and then you can push the pin through the card like so and there you go. Fantastic gift for someone. If you're making things to sell for Mother's Day this is such an easy easy win. They can be pins like this, they could be um, fridge magnets, they can have so many ideas. We're going to be doing another video using these and turning them into eternal flowers with stems. There's lots and lots of ideas that you can do them. You can add them to a project. They're just a super brilliant idea and I'm absolutely in love with them. They're fantastic because we've got these four which are 96 which are just beautiful. I, oh, Tina's favourite one is that one and my favourite one is that one. And then Ava, one of our team, got carried away with making them in 90 because she liked them so much. I think her favourite ones, she likes these. You go, you um, press further and you can get kind of um, very, very thin, thin wafers. If you put a, um, like a 3mm washer in there, al you know, um, aluminium stainless steel washers, you can keep some of the thickness and um, then you're going to get a kind of thicker one with the shapes like that. So that's the difference between these, are slightly thicker, and these are just rapper thin. They are so thin, and I kind of love that effect on them, they're so thin. Um, particularly here, as you see, when you, when you saw it and cut into them, because they're so thin, then they slightly pull up at the edges when you're fusing, and so you really do get this brilliant petal effect, which works so well. Um, I really love this idea. I'm kind of, you know, so psyched about it and what else can be done with it. I'd love to be able to sell these to you guys, but they're so big and so heavy that they would be about, I don't know, six euros a piece, which I'm not sure anyone would want to pay six euros a piece. So you guys let me know. If you want us to start selling these, they would be about six euros each. Let me know and we can start producing them. Um, if not, you can start producing them yourself. Just buy your Mar XL Marini, put them together. You can do them with smaller Marini as well. Just add and add and add. They're almost like a mandala and just squash it all together. And, oh, so yummy. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this idea. I'm going to happily wear mine for the rest of the day until Tina takes it back and makes me give it up. But it's mine for now. Um, and Please remember you can buy all our products at tabithasglassemporium.com. Please sign up for our newsletter on our website, then you get to hear about all new products, all new videos, all new deliciousness from us. Any free shipping we do, any of that, it's always best to sign up to our newsletter. Join our Facebook group, share your projects. We love to see what you guys are doing with stuff. And until next time, happy fusing.